Hi, this is a quick video demo for the IoT Command Center project hosted on Instructables. Using a particle photon that's just below the Instructable robot here and IFTT.com where you can create recipes for events which are then pushed to the particle photon and then show up on this OLED screen. So now let me head over to my computer to show you the IFTT recipe created uh, which basically sends today's weather which is the high and low temperature to the particle photon at 7 a.m. in the morning and what it does basically it calls the set weather function on the particle photon which then sends uh, the high temperature and the low temperature in degrees Celsius and as you see here home monitor is the name of my particle photon so now let's have a look at this on the iod command center so if i move the potentiometer knob slightly higher here you'll see that the high and low temperature is about 20 degrees centigrade and the low is 16 degrees centigrade so moving on to some other features now as part of the IFTT recipes, I have another IFTT recipe that would uh, send the weather conditions uh, to the OLED display via the particle photon. As it says here, it is mostly cloudy today. And this is a great way to decide what you're going to wear uh, today morning before heading out to work. In addition, what we also have here is a DHT11 sensor which is a temperature and humidity sensor which gets the temperature and humidity of your room and what you can do is basically once you move the knob slightly towards the right it would give you the temperature and humidity of your room and you'll also observe now that the neopixels go to red over here that's because i've set uh, a condition of uh, the temperature to be about 25 degrees and if it is higher than 25 degrees the new pixels go red what this means is i need to go ahead and switch on my air conditioner so now moving on to the next feature which is basically another recipe that i've created which would display the score for your favorite team that you've set up so as you see here it says uh, the espn score is not available so here's another recipe wherein i'm using espn on the if side of the recipe and then sending the score of my favorite team on the then side of the recipe to a spark function on the particle photon which then displays uh, the score on the oled display now as you see here it says the espn score is not available and that is because my team's next game is only on the 18th of June. So moving on to the next recipe now, and this is if you're on Twitter, this is a great recipe to have. Basically this recipe shows when you've been mentioned in a tweet and that tweet would be displayed on the OLED display via a spark function. And you'll also observe that the NeoPixels have gone blue now, which kind of indicates that you have a tweet. So now to get on to the next feature, basically, while writing this instructable, I uh, there is a limitation of having only four Spark functions uh, available. So to test the next feature, what I'm going to do here is go to my laptop again and just comment out the ESPN score spark function as part of the code and enable the spark function which is going to be part of the next feature which is basically receiving a message from an html uh, web page and i've called this function uh, message from mom so let's let me go ahead and upload this particular modified code And what you should see here, you should see the LEDs flicker on the photon. As the code is uploaded. 
So basically, this is a feature uh, ideal for moms that have teenage kids at home. So in this scenario, what I have here is a Spark function, which is called message to mom, as I mentioned earlier, which would get called by an HTML web page. So to go to the HTML web page, so this HTML web page can either be hosted on a local web server that you have running at home or just have it as a HTML web page stored on your laptop. So once you open this HTML web page, here is the message that you would be sending down to uh, the OLED display. Let me just put a couple of dots there. And once I hit send, what you'll observe is that the message has come down to the OLED display and you'll also see that the new pixels down here are cycling through various colors, which acts as an indicator uh, for your son or daughter, which tells them that dinner is ready and then they need to come down to the dinner table. And then to reset this message, just move the potentiometer dial all the way towards the right and this should go ahead and reset the message as well as put the NeoPixels off. Thanks for watching and have a great day.